Immediately, Cruz goes to the jab, lands an overhand right, Gamboa fires off a jab, but immediately it is Cruz putting the pressure on Gamboa. Yeah, we all knew that was going to happen in the early rounds. Oh, he's Gamboa's been down 17 times in his career. And remarkably, has only been stopped three times. He's hoping not to have number 18 here. And in fact, in the fights that he's been knocked down, Gamboa's 10 and 3, but Issa Cruz does not want to let Gamboa escape the opening round, much like he did against Diego Magdalena. Magdaleno, excuse me, in San Antonio. Yeah, you definitely don't, especially when you know you got Gamboa already hurt. And we talked about it, you know, he's been down many times. Especially, he's going to be cold in this first round. And Gamboa had a point deducted from him in the past for holding. He's going to do a lot of it here. The referee's going to have to maybe deal with that as this fight goes on, if it goes on. It happened against Devin Haney. Yeah. The most recent infraction, and man... He saw Cruz walking down Gamboa. Gamboa trying to flash the jab, but having issues with his balance as well. Like gets with that right hand, but took it Oh, man. Yeah, he's pulling straight back with his hands down. Speaking of Gamboa, he's trying to get back into his fight, trying to box a little bit, use that jab. But again, pulling back with his hands down. And Cruz not overcommitting, not, not, in a, not in a rush to get it done. Continuing to show the wrinkles that he has under the tutelage of his father, Isak Cruz Sr. Meanwhile, Gamboa working with Pedro Roque, the former Cuban national amateur team and Olympic team coach. Cruz is trying to land that overhand right. He landed it before, and that would be the punch for Gamboa to really worry about right now. Yeah, 100%. Especially, again, he's throwing the jab. He's moving straight back in the line with his hands down. So that, that overhand right is there for Cruz. <laughs> he tried it right there. He barely missed. Yeah, Gamboa's had a lot of injury woes recently. We talked about what happened against Javante Davis, and while his chin may not be... As, as strong as he would like, you can't question his heart. And it looks like Yuri Yorkus Gamboa is going to survive what has been a horrible start to this fight for us. He's on the one but how many rounds six ever mouth with the torn Achilles? <laughs> so that is not bringing him down. What are we talking about? He fought over 10 rounds with a ruptured Achilles against Javante. I'll be cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah. I've been working nicely. If you think you'll win, I'm not fucking likely. I'll be taking shots, yeah. Cold cut. Watch your numbers grow as well. came on the scene. He was a bro taking power hitting risk taker who was capable of overwhelming opponents. And then, well, his chin begins to betray him. Yeah, Gamboa has scored only one knockout win, one stoppage win since 2013. But he shipped down the pop there. Yeah, yeah, he definitely get yeah, the pop is there, the the experience, the combinations from Gamboa, and, and I think Gamboa is like one of the few fighters that would need to get need to get knocked down in order for him to wake up. Remember, you know, traded that, you know, traded that will go down and uh, automatically just become a monster. Great defense there by Gamboa. Felix Trinidad, by the way, supporting Yuri Yorkin, uh, in the main event. Sam Judah supporting Carl Spence. Mm. So the luminaries, a lot of, uh, you know, so many great champions at welterweight throughout the years. That's what has been the glamour division. And what a main event we are expecting, but what a fight this is turning out to be here with a minute and less than a minute and a half remaining in the second round. Yeah, in, in moments we're getting glimpses at, at the old Gamboa that we used to, we used to see back in the days that explodes and becomes in with the combination, pull back and starts boxing. And it's only I'm gonna take shots if I miss, I'll get it, I'll take a fast
all the sin it I'm taking snap shots but I'm not falling get it I'm getting back up under a minute remaining here in the second round and you know when you look at the Amber James for a low weight it's Bobby Bain bruises today's shortest 135 pound contender and when you look at lightweight champions who've stood only 5 foot Luminaries like Ray Mancini and Tony Canzoneri. They did pretty well, especially Tony Canzoneri in the long run. Bad at first round was a great fighter. You know, in this round, Gamboa has thrown more punches than Cruz. Uh, you, you wouldn't necessarily expect him to be winning the volume battle in any round. And, and he, he got off to a great start in this round. And Cruz has been a little wild with his left hook in this round. Good bounce back round for Gamboa. Yeah. Yeah. He's made Cruz miss a lot and, and, and found a way to kind of watch it. Hey, Donald Romano, Donald Romano! Glorious! Majority of the time! Oh, this fight's not over. Oh, I'm not afraid what you're never gonna be Look the other way what I'm doing Don't ever want this, don't ever want this I can't stain from the people who deceive me I keep jinxing the gun war Every time I feel that he's coming back, he gets knocked down And this is simply new Pick up the pieces and go away Pick up the pieces and go away Pick up the pieces and go away Got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second. This place is a lesson. You got a new engine for it's a blessing. New focus, no confusion, just put an obsession on this possession. You got the retention, I'm leaving in prison. And take your redemption, just chill no discretion. Your mind is a weapon, 11 and 11. Cruz is getting so loud, he tried to uppercut from the side, but he isn't worried about being countered. This is for that gets by Gambo. Another one down, just your body shot in the, the tank to by Gamboa. That's gonna buy him a little time. He's been looking for somebody who can save him. Cruz has gone to distance in five of the last six fights, but tonight he's Will strong like mind cause his mayhem. mayhem. We could change the world, change times, rearrange this. Taking our pace, running the race. Ready and ready to do it. And again, here in round three, it's the end of the battle. The Francis is East Coast backing up again. It's like you lived a few lifetimes. Can only go to the ring. Gone from the weak, but I think it's safe. Stop to make new lives. You create thoughts, never waste time. You got two inside. You got one life. Better pop off. What do you like? but he chose to exchange and that's when he went down. Final minute of the third. Cruz bobbing and weaving, going to the body with the right short, right uppercut on the inside lands for Cruz. And for Gamboa, he just wants to make this a, a wrestling match. Of it's, he's not throwing many punches. And being and he's not able to. Yeah, he's so ready for peeps and all this. And it's crazy how you a Gamboa can fight on skates all night. He could, he could do that. Yeah, he does for long periods of time when you think he can't. But if we saw again, we saw him with a ruptured Achilles go an extra almost 10 rounds for Javante Davis before being stopped. Final 15 seconds of the third. Yuri Arcus Gamboa needs a dramatic. Reversal of fortunes. They don't took a small oh, oh, by big right hand. Huge right hand to kick off the floor. Denise Cruz swarming. Yuri Elkis Gamboa just trying to push Cruz off of him. Gamboa tries to deliver the jab, but is just getting hit at all angles. Uppercuts. Cruz 
Williams wanted to get a knockout in this fight at some point because Devin Haney was not able to knock out uh, Gamboa and it took Davis a while to do it, so he'd like to yes. make a favorable comparison by getting him out sooner. Yeah, it took some rounds for Davis to, to stop him, to get the TKO, and, and he went the distance. So oh, it was definitely trying to make a statement. One minute as a last year in the fourth, and when you look at the show stats in terms of punches, they're almost even. Yeah, which is a little bit surprising. Uh, but, uh, Cruz is that, you know, he's the end of the court. Yeah, two to one, he's outlanding them in terms of connects. You know, the, the interesting thing, though, is that uh, in terms of body punches, uh, Cruz has landed 10, but he has, he has brought to the body as much as we normally see from here. Yeah. Now he's headed on a team right now, speaking of Cruz. And I guess we get glimpses of Gamboa, you know, when he does well, the combination punches, stepping back, yeah. but it's, he does not have his feet on the knee him anymore. That's, that's a problem. Talk to the body lands for Cruz. There's a jab, another jab by Gamboa, but it's... Stop! It's been a... Terrific start for Gamboa, having gone down already multiple times in this fight. And the jab for Cruz is kind of a rumor. He's not, doesn't even need to jab this way in. He's just coming in and saying, well, I'll lead off with the left hook or the over and right. I'll take my choice. But that would make it a lot easier. It would, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I was going to say that, but I didn't say that. But this is what happens. It's you get excited. You see that, you know, overhead rights like crazy. Yes. And, and you just get happy with that. You, you continue to do it. But if you're in Cruz Corner, you want to tell him, all right, set up those hooks with the jack. Yeah. back up to a screen. Someone should test that man's DNA. Like it. Not only like survive it. that shot. Wow. I know we've seen the world go down many times in many fights and it almost became, you know, normal, I guess, to see it down, but at this point, it, you gotta be careful, I agree. The ball is 40 years old and, you know, he gives shots like that to make it seem that he's still in the fight, but his feet are not underneath him. It only takes one shot and I think Chris might land it. Man, it's incredible the amount of shots he's taking the ball right now. A walking jump of Wamba song, but it's Cruz that's doing the fight. You know, Gamboa in this round came out with a purpose. He's throwing a lot of combinations and, and, and straight right hands, knowing that's the only ticket he has to win this fight, to hurt Cruz as he's coming in with one of those. So you know what's going to happen. It's going to make him hold up with a to get hit even, size, so. right. even harder, I would say. The more he opens up, yes. the more opportunity he provides Cruz. Cruz attacking the body with three four punch combination. Oh. 